Subfitters, my name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to SB Reviews. Where today, for what is most likely going to be the third video on the channel, basically, we're going to be listening to a track named Norwegian Forest by Wu Bai and China Blue. Switching over to here, we've got the video, the full one of it, six and a half minutes. This is a big one, but I'm happy to listen through it from start to finish. And we are going to hear what we think. Let's go. Oh, that guitar line. Really 70s kind of vibe to the bass, the guitar. Beautiful lead melody there. Nice panning of those drums. With uh, words, song, Wu Jun Lin, Wu Jun Lin. Really fascinating introduction to this track. I've got a lot of time for the musical theme that was repeated. It was pleasant and personable. You know, you could familiarize with you, it, yourself with it very easily. The bass was supportive and foundational. The drums were smooth. Uh, they held the groove together. Vocals. We've got subtitles. Oh my goodness. We have subtitles. We have subtitles. I'm not sure how you are going to see these subtitles because I, I don't know how these are going to look, but I have subtitles so I can understand what the lyrics are about. There is a sense of melancholy in this vocal performance. And we're repeating the phrasing, the rhythm, a lot of the melodic instances across those two takes of the verse. You get this impression that he is considering his place in this other person's life, in their existence. How much does he matter to them? How much of him remains in their heart? <laughs> Hiding some memories. Can we go back a little bit? I just want to like listen through that. White moon shines on the earth. Hiding some memories that you don't want to recall. He's self-aware. Back to the verse? Okay. Why your eyesight still contains, why does your eyesight still contain desolation of loneliness? Brutal. Why does your eyesight still contain desolation of loneliness? How do you even process that? There's this wavering in his voice, this uncertainty. He's really emoting the song and what it means to him clearly. And I love that he's taking control of the situation like that wow he considers himself the sustenance for this person's relationship gap he's aware that this person doesn't really care about them or he doesn't know that he's unsure Where can I stay in the forest in your heart? I 
I keep thinking that this chorus is going to repeat itself and it doesn't. It's a statement about that forest, Norwegian forest. It's a statement about it, how he sees it. It's, it sounds beautiful, but it sounds like a really stressful situation. That vocal sizzle there was phenomenal. What a great vocalist. There are some really interesting rhythmic things going on with the rhythm guitar and the bass. The bass is punchy. The bass has a great clear tone to it. Yeah, it's risky because if you ask the question, you might not like the answer, right? This is a very powerful guitar melody here. I adore what's going on with this because it mirrors what was instantiated at the start of the song with the original musical theme. It's been carried through throughout. That's a really smart way to write music. Keep that connection there. Allow people to follow along. It's a very simple melody. It and da bum ba bum. It repeats twice. Oh. Oh, that was a very simple, nice, chilled out guitar solo, wasn't it? It didn't need to be super fancy, did it? It didn't need to be really crazy sounding to be effective. It was a development on the original musical theme and it worked really, really well. Let me harvest your heart. I wonder if I'm still perfectly complete in your heart. By the way, I know this is slightly different to how I usually do these videos. I didn't plan for the subtitles to be on at the bottom of the screen. I didn't press that button. I didn't even realize that it was enabled. I must have done that at some other point today, but uh, yeah. I like how it resolves into this major tonality here. It's cool that we're describing this in a very positive way as an almost nostalgic kind of thing. This instrumental break is really, really nice. It's really cool. I'm liking these backing vocals coming in with the I wish to have everything of you. I don't know how accurate these subtitles are on this video. I assume with a channel that's as big as these guys. I think the channel I'm watching this on has 3 million subscribers. So I'm hoping that the subtitles are accurate. But those backing vocals we had before are really cool. And I like how the rest of the band is coming in to support the main vocalist. And uh, I can't do that with my voice, but I just love the when he says, "Perhaps I should not ask." There is this frustration, this 
tenacity, this tension that comes. And it's so visceral for just a moment. And then he calms himself. He wishes to have everything of this person. He wants to have the full package. Okay, guitar solo number two. Dope. Cool. This is pretty chilled out. That drums. Those drums there were phenomenal. The percussionist has been hiding his incredible performance ability all this time. I've just heard those strings there. I'm sure that there were the, the strings before this. Am I, I just haven't picked up on it tonight. That's a nice little additional element, having the strings alongside the guitar solo and the bass and the drums. Fills in the gap really nicely that's been left by not having the singer. And resolving on this nice, happy, fluffy major triad. Boom, 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 boom. Octave chord. Great. Wu Bai and China Blue, Norwegian Forest. I am so glad I got the chance to listen to this song. I, I love, I love this music, dude. So my understanding of the song from what I've listened to is that there is a person, um, you know, the singer in the song, and he loves someone or they've had a relationship and things haven't gone particularly well. And at this point, he's wondering what he means to this other person. The other person is like a big misty forest full of peace and mysterious. And he is wondering if he's explored everything he feels like he has and he wants to take control of that situation or at least have some sort of effect on it. But it just seems to be too much and he's just shackled by this frustration that he feels at not being able to cope with the situation just because it's just too much for him to cope with or maybe it's too much for the other person to cope with maybe it's too much for both of them to cope with but obviously this is affecting this dude quite a bit the music sounds incredibly sad when you think back on it after hearing the entirety of it the end and ending instrumental section, that really long outro section, it, that there's nothing particularly positive about it. It's accepting the, a sense of loss, uh, a generalized depression with it, or maybe it's just accepting that the person's mysterious and that's just a part of life. I love we had these little bits where the you know the singer would get really would really emphasize certain words and emote in a way that made a lot of sense for the situation. There was a solid understanding of when to really put your foot down and get those words across like that. There was a sense of vulnerability. But at the same time, it was very different to a lot of artists that I've listened to. This is not your typical love song. I, I know, especially because I've got to be careful because there's a lot of metaphors in this type of music, so I don't want to take it too literally. Do you know what I mean? 
But uh, yeah. I I love the performance in this. I think the guitar, bass, drums, strings, and vocalists, including the backing vocals, they all were stitched very well together. The six and a half minutes that the song took flew by. I do not regret for a second listening through it. I think I was entertained for the most part. It was very helpful having the lyrics playing alongside the song so I could reference the exact moment. Again, I'm sorry if people are wanting me to do the lyrics at the end. Just with this one, that the lyrics are already here, so it makes sense. And also sometimes I look at the lyrics, like the translations, and they aren't always correct, and so I'll misinterpret something. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, hopefully this, uh, what I've said makes sense about, you know, we're buying China Blue. Talented musicians. You know, this kind of prog kind of, it's like a 90s kind of rock to it. Like 80s, 90s, some sort of prog, progressive elements to it. It was some bluesy parts. It's it's really a timeless piece, if I may say so. And uh, I'm glad to have been able to appreciate it. And I just think, again, I've mentioned this before, you know, I want to keep these videos on 20 minutes. Just the, the careful attention paid to having these, like a verse melody and a chorus melody, having these melodies repeated throughout to, to allow the listener to easily understand the direction of the song, the pacing of it, is a really smart idea. The, the singer is very intelligent and knows how to communicate well and knows how to sequence lyrics together. And I think the lyrics were incredibly poetic. They were deep. There was a great sense of depth there. The, the descriptions of the forest were beautiful. And it was a very human experience hearing him talk about how he wants everything but doesn't know if he can have it and that insecurity there, but that, uh, you know, that, that unrelenting dedication to the, the chance that things might be different somehow. But this is effectively my review of uh, Wu Bai and China Blue's Norwegian Forest. I know that it's been a big day today with like three videos that have come out. I, it was very important for me to get the guitar video out that I did today for the 75,000 subscriber fans 75,000 fans and also I needed to um I needed to get that Neil H video out because it was Neil H's birthday today on the 18th so this was something that was going to, I also planned to do this video today so it's just how it, it happened so hopefully people have enjoyed the incredible amount of content on this channel today it's been very busy very exciting Hopefully you enjoyed this review as well. If you did, please do feel free to let me know. Please do go check out, listen to more Wu Bai and China Blue, uh, Norwegian Forest. Hope if, if you enjoyed the song, I think they're f f fantastic musicians. I'm not sure when this song came out. There's just a general, there's a there's an audible professionalism to this. There is a as there's a calm confidence to this, but it's such a genuine experience listening to these this act in particular you know and i just i i just love how well controlled they were during the solo sections they knew how to pace themselves and to not turn it into an ego project but stay cool stay safe and remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they need the hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world catch your next review spider hands out <laughs>